guys, back again. Um, I'm doing a marker's version of Molly Harrison's image uh, worry. Uh, I did see this as an individual uh, image in Etsy the other day, but I got it from her digital coloring book, Mystical. And I am just about to go and get started on that. So I have just used, as I said, uh, Copic markers. I have used some white gel pen there as well. I have printed it on Express It Blending Card and I've printed it in a no-line image uh, which I've printed as kind of a darker orange uh, type colour in the background there. Um, so yeah, I just want to uh, thank you all for watching today and if you haven't subscribed already please do so. And uh, thanks again, so we're going to get started. So I'm going to do something a little bit different uh, this time. So I'm going to do some different skin tones. So I'm using YR000 and I'm just going ahead and I'm just going to cover the entire skin with this. So you could just follow the normal skin tones which is what I would normally use uh, E04, E11, E21, E00 and E000. And I usually use some R20 for blush, so I am doing something a little bit different, but you could go ahead and use the other colours as well.
the marker out some shadow areas with YR00. So I'm just going around all of the shadow areas of the hair and things like that and the chest. I've got some RV00 and I'm just going over those uh, shadow areas with this colour. I'm just going to bring this a little bit further out on the cheeks here as some blush as well.
I'm using B000 here and I'm just going over those shadow areas with this. Now I'm going to go over that entire area with E000. I've got RV00 again and I'm just relining those areas. Just leaving a gap between the actual line of the skin and this colour.
and I've just got that B triple zero again and I'm just going to go over the top of that with this Now that I've done that, I'm just going to go over the line between that and the line of the skin there. I'm just going to put in E31. I've got some E04 and I'm just doing the shadow areas of the E here. I'm also going to line the lips and use this for them as well. I'm going to blend this out with YR00. And then I'm going to blend that out further with RV02. And then finally on those highlight areas I'm going to use RV00. Now I'm kind of going to layer the lips so we'll be going over it again in a little bit with different colours again. Just got RV000 I'm just going over the top of that again.
got YR triple zero. I'm just going over the skin areas again. Just going a little bit darker with YR trip double zero now, just over the top of the uh, shadow areas and bringing it out over the highlight areas again.
covered that again and now I'm going to go all over that again with the E00. So I'm trying to create a little bit of an orange tone um, with some blue highlights and things there. Uh, sorry, blue shadow depths there. So I'm just going over that again. I'm still not happy with the ear either. I will slowly blend that out again um, to see if I can get a better look out of it. So I've got RB00 again and I'm just going to do it inside the uh, iris here in the eye. Now I'm going to put in C3 for the shadow areas on the eyeball. So the eyeball there wouldn't be uh, completely white, it would have some shadow areas from the eyelid on the top and the bottom, so I'm just putting them in now. I'm going to blend them out with C1 and then I'm going to use the colorless blender to get a seamless blend there. I use black for the pupil, so I'm using that black marker now. A B00 and I'm just going over the top of that R double, RV00. Now I am going to come back in later on with some darker blues just to put in some lines into the iris. This is just some color in the background now. So I'm using YR65 and I'm just going to blend that out with B000 again. I'm going to come over this closer to the end and do some darker colors in it. some RV00 over the lips again so I'm just sort of fading them out a little bit because I want to bring some other colors over the top of them. I'm going to use R37 and I'm just going to line these dots and the hearts on her skin. I'm going to leave a couple of the hearts down the bottom to do uh, gold.
Just putting some RVO2 just on the corners of the eyes there as well. And just going back to that R37 and filling out the remainder of those hearts there. R35 to blend out this larger heart hanging on her necklace there. And I'm going to blend it out with RV23 just on the highlight areas there. So it just shows there's a little bit of shape in that one. Some R37 onto her lips in the shadow areas and doing some lines there as well. Now I'm blending this out with R35 again. So I'm just going over the previous lines and coming further into the highlight area. I'm just blending that out with RV23 now. Just bringing in R35 and I'm doing her eyebrow here.
just started lining the front of her hair with R35 and then I decided I probably should do this a little bit darker because I want to blend this out to a, a lighter pink but it's not a very very pale pink so I'm going to start lining the hair now now it does take a fair while to do the hair so just take your time um, I'm just using thin strokes of the marker and I have changed it to that darker marker now which is the R37 so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to mark all these in these lines in when I come to things that are sitting on the hair I'm going to make sure I add shadows to that as well and I'm going to do little thin lines throughout each section of that, that hair as well. So the darker thick lines or longer ones are going to be shadows. And then the thin lines that I do in between will be a part of the strands of hair. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So you can see that I'm doing lines in each section. I'm doing little lines or flicks out from each of the shadow areas and bringing them in towards each other. This is to create that highlight section. So we'll do that all over. And when I come across something sitting on the hair, I'll do those little lines from that object as well.
So I'm going to blend that out now with R35. So I'm going to go over the previous color and I'm going to make the lines a little bit longer. So those flicks that I've done there, I'm going to come in and just flick them in towards the highlight area. So I've just come back in with the R37. I've missed a little bit of hair there and I do do that sometimes. I miss a little bit so I come back in. So I'm back here with the R35 and I'm just flicking a little bit further out from the shadow areas towards that highlight again. So now I've done that, I'm going to come in with R43 uh, and I'm going to fill out the remainder of that highlight section. So I'm not going to try to go over all of the white areas as such, but I'm going to bring this marker over the top of the previous colours and extend them further out to the highlight area.
So now I'm going to come in and deepen up the shadow areas. So I've got R59 and I'm going to go over all of the shadow areas and just put a few flicks through the hair just to give some definition and texture just to show that there are individual strands of hair there. So I'm going to do that over the whole image now.
So I wanted to try and darken up that shadow area a little bit more over a face. Um, I didn't have much luck, but I did give it a go. Um, so I'm just using the RV00 in there to put some pink tone into it. And then I'm going to use some B000 as well and then blend it all out again. Blending it out with YR00 here. Then I'm going to move on to the jewellery part. I'm going to do this gold. So the first colour I'm going to start with is E15. So I'm just lining uh, one side of the jewellery with the E15 now. So it doesn't really matter which side, I'm just trying to put a little bit of shadow and uh, highlight into it so that it does look like that it's at least curved and setting off the skin. So I'm going to blend that out a little bit further with Y38. And then I've got Y35 and I'm just going a little bit further out. And then I'm going to finish off the highlight part of that with Y32. And then I'm going to just continue exactly the same colours all over the leftover parts of the jewellery and any other um, parts on her skin there.
So I'm just going to do the eyelashes. I've decided to do them black so they do stand out from the picture itself. So I'm just going to go and line all of those lashes there. I'm going to extend a couple of them a little bit further as well. So I'll just pop in and do that. So now I've done that, you can see that the eye kind of falls back in there a little bit. So I want to put some darker colors in there now. So I'm going to use some dark blue colors and I'm just going to bring um, the color in a further in towards her pupil. Just finding up that line there for the black. So now I've got B39 and I'm just coming in and I'm just lining the iris. And I'm going to bring some little spots in through that as well. So little tiny little st strokes or flicks in towards the middle of the eye now. So I'm going to blend that out now with B28. So just going over the little flicks and bringing them back in towards that middle area. I've also done a few in the pupil there as well. So I'm just bringing them out towards the area, the outside of the eye. So what's actually happening is I'm creating a, a smaller area in the middle there that has just got a nice bright color in it. So I'm just going to blend that out again with B24 just a little bit further. You can see there I brought that almost over the entire area there but I have left some highlights as well. So I've just finished that one off now. It looks quite nice. We are going to come out back in with some white later and just uh, put some highlights in there as well. So I'm just coming over some of that skin area that looked a little blotchy with the E00. You don't have to do that if it was fine. Um, just there on the side of the face it was a little blotchy so I'm just going back over that now. I've just used that uh, E000 just to bring the uh, eyelashes out a little bit. It actually makes it look like there's a bit of dark shadow behind the eyelashes now, that's all. Um, so I've just used that and then I've made sure I've wiped off my marker when I'm done so that next time I come in it doesn't bring that black back over anything.
So I've just decided to do the heart in the top uh, left hand corner gold as well. So I'm just doing the darker parts of that with the E15 and then I'm going to blend over that with Y38, Y35 and Y32 just to give it that gold look. So we finished our main part and we want to just finish off this small background area. So I've got B34 and um, I'm just going in and putting a tiny little bit of this onto the necklace. I'm just putting it on the bottom link of each of the chains there. And then I'm going to use this to fill out that background area. So I'm going to use it and do a couple of layers on there um, just to try and get a bit of a smooth blend. And then I'm going to go over the top of that with some grey. And the reason I'm going to use grey is because I want it to sort of look like nighttime, and I think it sort of blends in well with, with the whole image and it doesn't take away from that main girl there. So I'm just going to go and fill this out now.
fairly even blend. I'm going to go over the top of that with T4. You could use C4 here if you didn't have the tone grey, that's fine. Cold grey would do fine. I'm just going over the top of that now with that. Just using the chiseled end uh, because it is a lot flatter and it does a bigger surface area um, so I'm just using that now to help smooth that out a bit I'm going to come over it with some uh, wavy uh, curly lines anyway to give it a rough look just want to build that color up a little bit deeper so I'm just putting another layer of B24 over the top of this it will help smooth it out and make it a little bit deeper
Now I'm going to put some W5 into this, which is warm grey 5, and I'm just going in and putting swirls all over. So I'm trying to just uh, create some depth through some parts. It's kind of like the night sky. Not all of it's going to be the same colour. So now I've done that, it looks really good. It's got some texture, the stars have got depth. Um, so we're going to put some contrast in now with some white highlights. It doesn't really matter where you put them, uh, just wherever you feel they should go. I've just put them randomly all over on the stars and on her. I've put some dots in her hair and also on the moons and her jewellery and things like that. I'm also going to line in the highlights of her eye as well here. So it really is just up to you, wherever you feel that they should go, just go ahead and pop them in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these in now.
Okay, so now I've done that area, I just went over those um, darker highlight, darker shadow areas again because I had missed them. Um, but now I'm going to come and do the sky. So we're going to make that look like it's got stars through it uh, with a few shooting stars. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to put some dots all over that area. Some of them will be larger and some of them will be smaller. So I'll try to do different sizes and I'll try to just do them randomly with no pattern over the whole sky. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then at the end there, I'm just going to flick my pen out of off a couple of those areas just to show that it might have been a shooting star coming across the sky. So coming to an end now, uh, your picture won't look the same as mine because we would have picked different areas to do highlights and things like that. Um, and your stars will be different, differently placed throughout the sky. So we won't have exactly the same image and that's fine. Um, so just remember when you're doing those highlights, anywhere that you feel you want to put them in is no worries. It doesn't really matter or make a difference if you put them somewhere random or in a shadow area um, because you can't really tell like nobody's going to really sit there and be able to see that anyhow we're all done so thank you again for watching today's tutorial hopefully uh, you did get something out of it and you did enjoy doing it um, it was a quick one and I just want to thank Mar Molly Harrison again for her image um, as I said you can find it in her Etsy shop um, under Molly Harrison I'll also pop some details in the description below with some links to uh, the Facebook group and also to my blog thanks guys
Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.